everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is super, super hot. We are having a stretch of in the 90s, high 90s, all week for like, well, even beyond this week, they're saying. So it's really, really hot. Just staying in the air conditioning, keeping cool. But I did get out to the Dollar Tree and I wanted to share with you what I got. So I'm gonna flip you guys around here and uh, so you can see instead of me there we go <laughs> anyway in the right spot i don't know close enough all right let's see what did my husband pick up i don't think we got a lot of junk food this time which is a good thing he picked up this strawberry kiwi lemonade the front porch brand this is in the refrigerator section at dollar tree um i don't think i have anything from the plus section either i do not believe i even went down there because it's kind of the same old same old stuff right now this time of year i did pick up two of these my grandson loves these um, i know a lot of people i pick up this and 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 the mountain dew and i always say it's for my grandson and people are like well kids shouldn't drink that well my grandson's like pushing 30. <laughs> he's actually 20, well he's gonna be 29 this year but anyway yeah they're not little grandkids i'm talking about they are grown up so my other grandson that likes the mountain dew he is 25 years old so yeah they're not little little kids i'm giving this to but anyway this half and half brisk iced tea so good love it um i don't know about the sugars and stuff i don't drink a lot of it every once in a while i'll have some but um yeah it's 11 grams of sugar per serving there's four servings per bottle and it's 40 calories so yeah this stuff is just so nice like on a day like this i have one in the fridge um on a day like this this stuff is great just take outside if you want to sit outside in the shade for a little bit which i don't even want to do that today it's so hot out there um my husband got a can of the del monte sliced pears instead of his peaches and stuff i think he's peached out so he did get a can of those and then i picked up another pack of these i haven't had the bonus packs lately a lot of times they'll have them you know where you get three but these are my favorite sponges so I did pick up another pack of these because I go through a lot of sponges out in my kitchen and yeah this is my favorite one so anyhow that's what I got and then I picked up another one of the sure sense fresh linen um, spray says eliminates odors 25% more I just love the scent of this this is great in the bathroom because you know every once in a while you need a little fresh linen scent in your bathroom <laughs> So, I did get one of those. All right, I think that's all of that kind of stuff. Oh no, I did pick these up. Ugh. These I picked up actually is I picked up two of these 16 ounce um, Epsom salt because I use this to make my weed killer with. I do have a video on that, but it's real simple. If anybody's, a lot of people ask me after I show this stuff. You use two cups of Epsom salt. You get a big gallon jug of the vinegar. Um, and a quarter cup of Dawn. You just mix this stuff really good, the Epsom salt and the vinegar, and then after that's all dissolved, you add the Dawn, and I put it in a spray bottle, and the rest of it I keep in the big gallon jug, and I'll tell you what, that stuff works great. It's not really bad for, you know, the animals or anything you don't have to worry about. There's no smell besides the vinegar, which I'm not a big fan of the vinegar smell. I know a lot of people clean with it and stuff, I can't do it. I just do not like the smell of vinegar. But anyway, I'll tell you what, this keeps all the weeds and everything off my patio in between the cracks. You don't want to get this on anything you don't want to dye. Cause like if you spray it on your grass or something, it's going to kill it. But like for in between sidewalks, driveways, stuff like that to keep the weeds down, um, like along a pathway or whatever, it's great. I've been using this that for years to kill weeds so yeah like I said two cups of some salt one gallon of vinegar mix it up real good quarter cup of dawn there you go you have your weed killer but yeah just be careful don't spray on anything you know like rose bushes don't get near anything that you don't want to die because it will kill it hence the word weed killer <laughs> all right what am I dinging about here uh, Let's see. Um, I did pick this up. Sorry, I just got a message on my phone. I had to look because I'm waiting for messages from, you know, like doctors and fun stuff like always. I picked up a, one of these Child's Luau skirts. Um, actually, I get these because fall is coming soon. And when fall comes, you can't get these. 
So I picked these up now. I did pick up another one. I think I got the adult size. But this is the smaller size. And you can use this for like straw and hay and, and different um, decorative projects that you want to do, even outdoors, whatever. This stuff is great. I'm not sure what this is made of. Um, it almost reminds me of like raffia, but I don't believe it is. It may just be like a paper. I don't know. But um, I'm actually going to try to dye one of these, like tea stain it, make it a little darker. So we'll see how that works out. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, oh, I did pick this up. My husband had such bad sunburn the one day when he was outside pulling the weeds in the beginning of spring on the patio because I just didn't keep up with it in time. And his whole back was so sunburned and I did not have any more aloe gel. So I picked this up. This is aloe after sun gel, alcohol free, dye free. Um, so I just like to keep this on hand for anybody who's getting any kind of sunburn. Um, trying to see. Yeah, it's leaf juice, aloe. Uh, I don't know what any of these other ingredients are, but anyway, hopefully this will work good on sunburn. Keep that around all summer long because you never know who's going to need it. And I did pick up a couple new pairs of garden gloves. Um, I got myself another green pair because I always know that these are mine. <laughs> but, you know, I've had the other ones for like, I don't know how many years. And these things, this part of it's now starting to dry rot. So I figured I better grab myself another pair. And these are great because they're very rubbery. And like when you're pulling weeds or stuff, it just grips really good. So these are my favorite gloves from Dollar Tree. And then my husband picked up a blue pair for himself. Same thing. It's got these really nice little grips on here. Like I said, these are the best that I've found at Dollar Tree to pull like, weeds and stuff like that. And trust me, we're always pulling weeds. There's nothing but weeds all summer long. I picked this little guy up here because I thought he was so darn cute. This is one of the garden stakes and this is just the truck in the red, white, and blue with the stars and banner on it and stuff. And I just thought this would be really cool to put out for the holidays. Um, or you could pop this off and use it on a wreath or whatever you want to do with them. I've done that a lot. It's just pop these little guys off. And they have these little trucks decorated for all the different seasons. But I really like, I'm going to move that so I don't poke myself with it. You sit over there. Thank you. And let's, I picked these up in, I don't know what these smell or anything. I thought these were really nice. These were down in the beauty section here with all the soaps and lotions and all that stuff. Um, this is a strawberry refreshing body butter. I just love the packaging of these. And then this one is gummy bear moisturizing body butter. How cute are these? Some of these I'm keeping put in gift baskets. I love to put them together. And this was a cotton candy exfoliating sugar scrub. And I'm hoping that I really like this because my skin on my face is so dry anymore that I need to exfoliate something off of there. <laughs> Good exfoliating, but I'm going to see how this smells. I haven't opened any of these yet, so, oh, of course it's got this really pain in the neck kind of stuff on. I wish they would give you a little extra piece to pull. Oh, I think I got it. Come on, there we go. All right, well, I got part of it off. Ooh, that's very sugary. Oh, that smells so good. What is this, cotton candy? Well... I think this smells more like a gummy bear thing. It doesn't really smell like cotton candy. Maybe if you only have a little bit of it. Oh yeah, it does. If I put it on my fingers, it smells like cotton candy, but you can see the nice sugar scrub in there. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I hope they have more. Usually when I find something like this I like, then I'll never find it again. But I'm gonna go look for another one of these. I like that. That's mine. Um, then I can't open these if, well, you know what? I might keep some of these. This is gummy bear moisturizer. I'm going to put a hole in this just to see what it smells like. This isn't going in a gift bag now because I just opened it up. So now they're mine, but I'm dying to see how they smell so I can let you guys know. Oh, oh, that smells wonderful. Yep, definitely gummy bear. And this is just body butter. Well, let's see. Ooh, nice, smooth. Oh, that smells... That smells so good. Okay, these are a hit with me, I'll tell you that much. So that is the gummy bear. And then this one is strawberry refreshing body butter. 
All right, these are going to be mine because you know what? I'm really liking this line of stuff. I wasn't sure if I would. I figured it'd be cute in a gift basket. Let somebody else find out if they like them or not. <laughs> but, oh, oh my gosh, this smells so great. This is, what does it say? Strawberry Refreshing Body Butter, Pink Sugar, and Vitamins A, C, and E. It stimulates, exfoliate, and hydrates. Oh, well, look, this stuff is really thick, too. All right, let's put this up here a little farther. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, these are all keepers in my book. Now my other arm feels really dry compared to this handed arm. Oh, I like that. And it still feels, even though it's in there, it's like not sticky or anything. It's just really soft. Okay. All right, those are keepers. We like those. Anyway, I know. I get sidetracked on that stuff. I just get so excited when I find new things. All right, this one I'm not opening. This is a bath bomb. Um, it just looks like a little ice cream. I thought that's real pretty. That I'm going to put away to go into, whoops, I got this stuff all over me, um, into gift baskets. I'm not a big bath person, but I thought that was real cute. So that'll go into a little gift basket. And then these are really cute too. I found these. These are actually in with the, um, you know, pencils, pens, all that kind of stuff. And these are ice cream novelty erasers. How cute are these? So this will go into a little girl's basket, gift basket. And then this one here is, what is there, five in here. And then this one you get six donuts. How cute would these be to go like for back to school little thing to give to someone? Love it. I don't know how these little racers work, if they're any good, but they're awful cute. <laughs> Hopefully they work. I don't know if any of you guys have tried them. What else did I get down in that section? I did pick up another pack of the chunky brushes. Um, I just used one of these that I'm going to... Um, I had one left is what I'm trying to say to use in my DIY that's actually going to be up tomorrow um, with my Goodwill. It's just a teeny weeny Goodwill haul. A few things I picked up and then something in there that I'm going to do a DIY with which is going to be fun. But um, And that's already filmed and all ready to go so I know it'll definitely be up tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I say these things and I never get to them, but that one will definitely be up tomorrow. But anyway, I used one of these brushes on it, so it really worked well. So I figured I'm going to get another pack of those. And then these brushes, I haven't seen this in a while. Um, you know, I always get the big brushes are my favorite ones. And then this pack here with this three in here, I have don't always see these. And I like this brush here. This one's really nice. And this size here I use a lot too. So it's just great to have all these different sizes. And I love these Dollar Tree brushes. And these are the only ones I care for is this this one with these really dark, dark blue handles. They almost look black on here, but I think they're dark blue. Well, maybe they are black. I don't know. There's something like that. All right, my husband grabbed another pack of the PVC electrical tape. Like I said, we use tons of this stuff, like Christmas time, all time, and he wanted some more to put into his um, little toolboxes and stuff that he has up by the carport, one for like in his truck, you know, because stuff comes in handy all the time. And it's nice they, they still have the two packs, so that's good. Oh, oh sorry, what are these things down? Oh, okay. Um, I picked up two of these plates because I want to do some, I'm like really into decoupage right now. It's, some decoupage that you like do reversed on the back which is really cool and fun to do so I picked up two of these smaller plates these are the 7.5 inch plates they also have the bigger ones too if you want to use those for something but I did pick up two of those and then I picked up two of these I haven't seen these in the white before these faces oh come on now it's just called vase but I love to do decoupage on these for different holidays, seasons, whatever. These are just so much fun to do, and I'm always painting them white. So there you go. These are already white. So hopefully it's the right white, because believe it or not, sometimes like when I put the napkins, napkins are such 
a brighter white that I actually have to paint, but I'm hoping I don't. I thought that was great. And these are, does it say how tall these are? Yeah, of course not. Um, let me let you guys know. These are seven and a half inches tall, and then the top is four inches wide, and the bottom is two and a half. So these are a really nice vase to do all kinds of things with. So that's what I got those for. Put you over here out of the way. Um, my husband picked up these lithium batteries. Not even sure if these are going to be the right ones to fit. I forget what he wants these for. For something that we have when he takes these batteries. I was surprised. I didn't even know they had these kind of batteries at Dollar Tree. I've never really looked before. So hopefully these are going to fit. Um, I have a scale too that takes these kind of batteries. This actually almost looks like the right number. So I'm hoping. Hoping, hoping. But you get two of them in here of the lithium batteries. And... All right, I did pick up a couple more <laughs> notebooks. You know, you guys know I'm addicted to these saves when I find these really cool ones. But look at this one. It's like a really soft, almost a velvety feel material. And then it has like all these little teeny weeny gems in there. So yeah, had to have that one. And then it's just, which is great, is there's no lines on here. So if I want to doodle something, get an idea, draw it out real quick, even though I'm not real good at drawing, but... At least I know what it's going to be. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was really cool. So this is going to stay right here next to me in the craft room. And then I had to pick this one up here. This one says, write it down now, deal with it later. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I do. So this features 120 line pages inside. So yeah. And I like when they have these little elastics on here to close it. But yeah, it's just regular lined paper here. Nothing special. I got that and then I picked up these. I want to try these is 20 piece shipping labels. I want to try to do some of my stamps on here. And I'm thinking if I do some of my clear stamps on here and cut them out, they're going to be a sticker. So we're going to see how that works out. I'm going to try that later on this week, I think. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be a pretty cool idea because I have bought some double sided um, tape things that I wanted to try, but this is already. There, so I'm going to put this down here with my little projects I got going on. Oh, I missed my husband's deodorant, too. He picked this out, the Power of Nature Avalanche deodorant. So there you go. Nothing special there, just some deodorant. And then the last thing I picked up here was this little guy here. I haven't seen this one before. For like a new little fairy gardens. I don't even know if I'm going to get to another fairy garden. I have so much fairy garden stuff. I need to stop. But I thought this guy was really cute. So I did pick him up. Now my birds are yelling at something. Maybe Amazon's here. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to move some of this stuff away here. And I'll bring in little P. Because I think he's in with my husband. He must be because he's quiet right now. And I will be right back. All right, P. Come and say hi to everybody. Yeah, you know, you know what I got in my hand? I'm hiding it, but I'm sure you know, because when I went out there, opened the container of peanuts. Of course, I have to give them all peanut out there. Yeah, everybody wants peanut. Let me lower this down just a little bit for you. There we go. And I have a hair on me somewhere that's driving me nuts on my arm. I can't see it. Did you say hello to everybody? Look up here. Say hello. He doesn't talk. A lot of people ask me how to feel ever talk. I don't think so. I don't know if I've ever heard of a coyote that talks. He makes some pretty noises sometimes. Huh. Like when you're trying to call me or call the dog. Oh, you go. Whew, whew. Yeah. Do you want your peanut? I know. It's hot today, huh, Pete? You going to stay in the air conditioning? He's like, I don't care. I'm a tropical bird. Do you want that? We in a good, we're not in a good mood today. All right. Well, I thought maybe you'd like it. Would you like me to open it for you? Wow. So what happens when I pretend like I'm going to eat his peanuts like I did last time. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, these are good. I didn't eat it. <laughs> such a brat, right? Oh, see, now he wants it if he thinks I'm going to eat it. You're a brat. Mm-hmm. Or you just weren't in the mood to... Why are you yelling at me? I opened a peanut for you. Look, I'll put it all right there. So when you're done with that. Oh, hush. 
he'll do that to me sometimes we're out there just cleaning up somebody else's cage and he'll be in the cage next to it playing with something and he'll sit there yelling at me like I'm like I'm bothering him I'm trying to help you are you crabby today hmm yeah all right I get crabby too sometimes everybody gets crabby I guess yeah I know you've been crabby a lot lately you need to get over this here Mm-hmm. Is that yummy? Why well, is so yummy? Yeah. Haven't seen any big nasty birds out there. Maybe too hot for the hawks to fly around out here. What do you think? Yeah? Is that good? We're done. Would you like to tear a pen apart? <laughs> wow, you have just lost the will to do everything lately. You don't want to tear up my pen? Say not when you're looking. Hmm? You tap your beak. What's the matter, P? Why are you so crabby today? Hmm? Do you need a nap? I do. Yeah? Usually he just grabs these, rips the, pulls the thing out, throws them. Nothing. All right. Do you want more peanut? Yeah. Well, you better be good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I've been hanging out in Daddy's office all morning, getting spoiled, huh? Yeah. He's gotten into trouble in there, too. The husband will be in his office trying to do bills and stuff. The next thing you know, he'll look over and he's trying to rip up his checks. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, when nobody's looking, you get in trouble. I know. You're a destroyer of things. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They bum awful cute. Say, nobody stays mad at me for too long, huh? Because they're too cute. You need your nails trimmed again. That's always fun, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it now. I'll get mad already. He's like, don't talk about it. There you go. You okay, dang nummy. You're fickle today. You want the peanut? You don't want the peanut? You're still yelling at me, even while you're eating your peanut. Huh? You be a crazy boy today. What are you gonna do when we leave here? I don't think Daddy's in his office no more. What are we gonna do? Cause he's gonna go out and mow the grass. He already mowed all the trim this morning, so all he has to do is go around with the riding mower. But I wish he would do it earlier. It's just gonna be so hot. But at least he got the hard part done, huh? Yeah. Clean that beak off. Clean it. Oh, it's beautiful. Are you going to be crabby? Are you going to step up for me when it's time to go? Hmm? How are you? Or you just want head rubbins? You just want rubbins and lovins? Yeah. What? You don't even want lovins? Oh, my goodness. All right, brat boy. We're going to let everybody go because we got stuff to do. I gotta get this small air conditioner in my bedroom window because it gets hot. We don't leave the central air on all night. And I'll tell you what, it gets hot in there. So I need to get that in there because this weather is not gonna be nice no more. It has been beautiful at night, like 60s, open the window, nice breeze. But yeah, that's not gonna be the case for the rest of the week. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Hmm? What? Do you want to go? Oh, he does want to go. All right, maybe he's got stuff to do. I don't know. Well, we'll say goodbye, everybody. Say thanks so much for watching, everybody. And we will see you all next time. Say have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, Pay. -bye,